guys, it's Michelle here without my partner in crime, Brittany, and that's because this video does not apply to her at all. Uh, she is a whiz in the kitchen. Uh, she maneuvers around pots, pans, spices, uh, perfectly fine. So I, on the other hand, need all the help that I can get, and I'm super thankful that I came across a uh, home meal service that uh, provides a kit uh, to help you with dinner options because I uh, I don't like cooking. Um, I'm constantly overwhelmed with um, what to make for my family each week or each night even. And I don't have a lot of time really to put into uh, meal prep, meal planning, all that kind of stuff, especially because I don't like it. So um, if you don't know, I am in the Air Force. I'm a wife. I have two-year-old twins. I'm super active in my church. Um, and uh, I have a small business as a professional makeup artist so a lot of times I just want to relax um, and so let's get right into it the company that I ordered from was called plated and I have not opened the contents of this box yet so you'll see what's in here along with me all right so one of the meals that I chose was the Cuban beef picadillo with cilantro lime rice that looks pretty fancy um, it's just a little like a welcome kit. Um, I got a call today from customer service just letting me know that the box had been delivered and if there's anything that I needed to give them a call. So, so far they get an A+. Uh, so things look so far look pretty fresh. This is just some cilantro and parsley. I also waste a lot of food because I tend to overbuy. Um, and I'm just really trying to uh, do better <laughs> at being a wife, a mom, um, all of that. So anyway, if you're anything like me, uh, you might be in the same boat when it comes to this whole cooking thing. Uh, here are some mushrooms. Also, they also look pretty fresh. Good, thank you. Okay. Life happens. Um, all right, what else we got here? Some, this is a, so everything is labeled and it says ancho rubbed uh, pork chops. So another uh, meal that I chose was the ancho rubbed pork chop. If my meals can come out looking anything like this stuff, uh, I will definitely be sold. And then my third meal I chose was chicken marsala with uh, roasted fingerling potatoes. I selected the high protein, the low carb option. I love that they had that option. That was really good. And there were tons of recipes to choose from. Uh, we got some more cilantro, some parsley, uh, just some uh, cold packs. What else? Uh, all the things, all the... Uh, I'm like super excited about this right now. All of the things that it takes, that it will take to make this Cuban beef picadillo. There's um, some garlic in there, uh, a red bell pepper, and everything's still cool. It was sitting on my front step from probably 11 o'clock and it is now about quarter to seven. Uh, boneless skinless chicken breast. ground beef and it's 85% lean so that's good. Four cold packs. Make sure my stuff is not spoil. More cold packs. Another uh, boneless pork chop. Boneless skinless chicken breast. Yes, H for hat. Good job. So anyway, <laughs> um, there's even some heavy cream in here. What do you do with that? I was just like, I don't know, for the finger leaf potatoes maybe? Okay, so anyway, uh, I got dinner for three nights for two people for $54. I will definitely clarify if the price is different. I got a coupon uh, for some, you know, for joining for the first time or whatever, but Overall, um, I'm usually really big on eating out, getting carry out so frequently that this is, I'm definitely saving money 
um, if this is a good thing. So I am going to make uh, one of these recipes tonight. Um, more than likely, I'll probably make the chicken and I'll come back with a report on uh, taste and um, easeability just to let you know if maybe this might be a good fit for you too. All right, well, that's all that I have. Hopefully this gave you some insight into the beginnings of uh, the plated meal, meal service. All right. All right, so I decided to make the chicken masala uh, with the roasted fingerling potatoes. It is scheduled to take uh, no more than 45 minutes. So it is now 7.32. Um, I went ahead and separated all the ingredients. So you can see here that it's all laid out and now I just have to follow the instructions. So I preheated the oven already to 425 and I'm going to jump right into this and show you uh, each step along the way and then the final product. Wish me luck. but ultimately uh, I'm pretty pleased. I haven't actually tasted it yet, but the fingerling potatoes and the chicken marsala uh, came out pretty good. It smells good anyway. So uh, I'll give you my final review after we have dinner. All right, so um, I survived. Uh, it, was, uh, it was really rewarding, uh, or super satisfying to be able to say that I made you know, this meal and put all the energy and, uh, and love and time into it that uh, ultimately ended up being a super success. Um, Jay thought it was amazing. He couldn't stop raving about it. The portion size was great. I actually was too full to finish mine. Um, everything was super flavorful. I mean, uh, Jay's words were that it was restaurant quality and I'm just like, are you messing with me? But honestly, I, um, I agree. It was really, really good. The chicken marsala was amazing. Uh, so, looking forward to tomorrow night's meal, actually. So tonight was definitely a win. Uh, spilled some wine on my, my shoe at some point. But you know what? Who cares, right? <laughs> it was all good. So thanks to uh, Plated. It. Um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night, and I'll let you know uh, at the end of the week how everything else went. <laughs>